Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this super pretty neutral everyday glam. This is what I've been rocking recently with some of the products that I have been just loving. So if you guys wanna learn how to do this perfect everyday glam that I've been rocking every day, make sure you keep on watching. I got a new filming light, so if the lighting is different, I'm doing my best, I'm trying to play with it. It's super bright. Ugh, just learning how to use it. So today we're gonna just get ready and make ourselves feel better. One thing you can do when you are ready in the public is get ready and do makeup and feel cute about yourself. So let's jump into brows. Um, I've been switching up my eyebrows like constantly. Some days I do the soap brows and other days I do like just an average pencil brow. I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed tomorrow, which I'm so excited about because I'm just excited to like have a shape when I don't have makeup on and hopefully it'll just make my life easier when I do have makeup on, meaning like I would barely have to color them in. Um, I'm gonna be filming the entire process, so make sure you look out for that video. It should be coming sometime after this one. For skin, I already prepped using some of the Origins Ginseng Oil-Free Energy Boosting Moisturizer as well as a little bit of this Vitamin E Oil from Trader Joe's. And today for foundation, I'm going to be using a combination of Milani's Conceal and Perfect in the shade number 3, Light Beige. And I'm also mixing that with the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 2.12. I'm pretty pale right now, so we'll see. And I'm just buffing that in on a Morphe foundation brush. Next, moving on to concealer, I'm taking my all-time favorite L'Oreal's Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I'm taking the shade Porcelain, which is literally, I think, the lightest color they sell, um, on the inner corner only. I just like a super bright inner corner and then the nose, the forehead like that, and the chin. And everywhere else where I need like corrective work, I'm taking the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a while because I almost want the concealer to get a little bit tacky. And while that's doing that, I'm going to take a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is in the shade Classic Tan, so it's super tan, definitely not my foundation shade. But I do want to cream contour with it. I'm also taking this on a Morphe, there's no number, it's just like a powder, small powder brush. Dipping that in this lightly. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour with this. It's crazy because like this brush does the work for you. Like you're literally barely blending it. Now that all our cream contour is in, I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and kind of just dip into like the mixture that's on the back of my hand. So it's like concealer and foundation leftover. And now we're gonna go ahead and blend this under eye. And I'm just gonna blend the rest of the concealer out as well. Now that all of my liquids are my face, the colors might be looking a little bit harsh, but once we put all the powder on and on top of that, everything is going to look more seamless. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade number 10, Fair Light. And I'm gonna be taking that on a Morphe M405 brush, which is basically like a small blush brush, and lightly going under my eyes with that. And then for the rest of my face, I'm taking a Morphe M527 brush. It's just a super large fluffy brush and just lightly setting the face. All right, you already know the deal. Um, I'm gonna be contouring or bronzing up the skin with my Morphe palette. This is the Highlighting Contour Palette 8L. And a Ulta powder brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's a really big brush because I'm more so just adding warmth. Now I'm taking a Morphe E62 brush. This is just a nose contour brush and just contouring my nose. Just the super light shade. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bake. While that's baking, we're gonna move on to our eyes. And today I wanna do a super neutral eye. Everything needs to be like washed out and stuff, not 
wash out what's the word just super seamless like i don't want there to be like any visible lines so uh to start i'm taking a morphe m for one brush it's just a super large powder blending brush i'm going to take the jacqueline hill volume 2 palette and take the shade perfectionist and then just lightly bring that in the crease and just super diluting it Next, I'm gonna take the shade G Money, which is definitely a more dark tan shade. And just put that into the crease. All right, now that we have that wash in the crease, I'm gonna take a little bit of the P. Louise Mitchell Acid Rain Paint, Acid Rain Paint in the shade Blake Canvas. It is what I used in my last video. If you guys didn't see that, it is basically like the P. Louise base, but just a lot thicker, but it's better for cutting creases. All right, kind of like that. I just realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I did a brown liner on this other side. Um, I also didn't set the base or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the uh, liner on this side as well. And then, really quick, going to just brush off my bake that's underneath my eye. Let's see the brush. Going to drag. A little bit of that crease shade under my lash line, just in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna do that little inner corner cat eye thing. So I'm taking a Morphe. Actually, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, um, but it's just their brow brush. And I'm gonna do a little inner Okay, now that I have my mascara on, I'm gonna go ahead and brush off this fake from down here. All right, and I've been super into like glowy blush and glowy skin, and however this blush is not glowy, um, we are going to make it glowy in a second. So I'm taking Kylie, Kylie Cosmetics Kitten Baby Blush. It's a super peachy blush on a Morphe blush brush. Smiling and just putting a really good amount of blush on this. And on top of that, I'm gonna mix the Laura Geller Baked Illuminator in the shade Ballerina, bronzy with a hint of rose gold. And I just lay that on top of my blush and it kind of gives it like a shimmer. As for highlight, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Artist Couture Illuminati highlight. It's per usual. I'm gonna take some LA Girls Shimmer Spray Finishing Spray and melt all of the powders together and also give me more of a glow. Next for lips, I've been in more of a like a pinky lip recently, which is not like me. So I'm taking um, Morphe's Love Bite. And like I said, I've been into more of like a pinky lip, so I'm gonna take Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kylie and put that in the center. And then take my finger. Okay. And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with a little bit of a gloss. I'm using Buxom's Peach Daiquiri in the center of my lips. All right, you guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little easy glam, perfect for every day, and some of my favorite products right now. I hope everybody stays safe and is doing okay in this really weird, crazy time right now. Hope you stay positive, and I hope this video made you feel a little bit better. Make sure you like this video, subscribe so you can see more videos from me, and put on your post notifications so you know that every single time I upload, you will be notified. Right. I love you guys. Bye.